Hi everyone, this is Eileen from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. It has been quite some time since I last upload a video or update to my website. And that is because um, I've been busy with my baby boy for the past two to three years. So now that he is uh, gone to childcare, I have a little bit more free time. So I will start sharing again. So today I'd like to share with you a question from O Level A Max paper from last year. It's a paper two question, question number 10. Uh, it is on roots of quadratic equations. And this question is interesting because, right, it is a big question just on roots. It's about 11 marks. So let us take a look at this question now. Um, as you can see in front of you, this is the book that I have been writing for SAP publisher for the past couple of years. It's a collection of the O Level 10 year series. It's a must have for all the students preparing for the exam. You can get it at uh, any popular bookstore. Now, this is the question. The first part is divided into four parts for this question. So let's take a look at this question. They tell us that the roots of the quadratic equations are alpha and beta. And first part is asking you to do showing. Now, um, let me just... All right, now you have to know what is the understanding of roots. Do you know what roots are? Most students, um, when they see the word roots, they link it to sum and products of roots. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually a concept that will be tested later on in the question. So you got to understand is in this case, roots, okay? Um, it could mean uh, your solutions. Oops, it's a little bit too thick. Solutions. Or some of you simply just call it answers to this equation. That works as well. So that means through this statement itself, you could understand that. That means that if I were to substitute alpha and beta into the equation, that will make the equation true, which means to say, I can tell you that, hey, look, alpha square is equals to three alpha minus four. Or beta square is equals to three beta minus four. So that is the meaning of roots of the quadratic equations are alpha and beta. So basically, if you substitute x, into the unknown alpha, beta, the two equations are correct. So let's take a look at what they ask us to show. Alpha cube. So first thing you got to think, alpha cube, how can we get alpha cube? Well, alpha cube can be rewritten as alpha multiplied with alpha square. And we know what is alpha square because I've just put it here, which is three, alpha minus four. So expand, so we have three alpha square minus four alpha. So let's take a look at what we need to prove. Now, looking at the right hand side, it's only about alpha, which means to say, I need to substitute my alpha square. And can I do that? Yes, I can. It's just simply three alpha minus four, again, minus four alpha. So with that, let me just scroll this down a little bit. We can simplify and it'll get you to the right hand side that we need to prove. Okay, so let me just write it here. Okay, that will simply be 9 alpha minus 4 alpha will be 5 alpha minus 12. Shown. And that's how we approach part one of the question. And it's three marks, which means to say you need to get it done in within three minutes. All right, let us move on to part two. I'm going to clear off um, all the working here.
All right, part two of the question. Write down a similar expression for beta cube. And this is just one mark. Now, so from part two, sorry, from part one, we have already shown this. Alpha cube is equals to five alpha minus 12. That was from part one. So part two, if they ask you for a beta cube, simple. Just substitute your alpha with beta. Done. One mark. Got that. All right. Let's go on to part three. Hence or otherwise, find the value of alpha cube and beta cube. Okay. Now, since I have this right now, I can make use of the information. It's a three marks question. So let's get started. Part three. They want to know alpha cube plus beta cube. So what do you do? Just add up the two of them. So you end up with five alpha plus five beta minus 24. Now they are looking for value, which means to say, I need to substitute the value of my alpha and beta, but I do not have that. So what can we do? Now, if you go back to this original um, question itself, they have already told us about roots and look at these two roots. What happened when we sum it up? When we sum it up, I mean, just let me just use a different color, uh, green. It will give us alpha plus beta, isn't it? And isn't this what we want? Because we want to know what is the value of alpha plus beta. So what do we do? So let me just do a little side working over here for you to see. Let me rearrange my quadratic equation x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equals to 0. Now, sum of roots, if you recall, in this case, it will be alpha plus beta is equals to minus b over a. And what is my b? My b is simply coefficient of my x. In this case, it's negative 3. And what is my a? My a is coefficient of my x squared, which is 1. So alpha plus beta is simply giving me 3. Okay, so what we do right now, we can go back to the equation here and continue on. I'm going to factorize out the 5 that will leave us with alpha plus beta minus 24. Alright, and with that, We can then now find the value. So 5 times 3 minus 24, that will give us negative 9. So this is how we find the value of alpha cube plus beta cube. 3 marks. Now let us move on to the last part of this question, which is four marks. And this is what this question is all about. Find a quadratic equation whose roots are. All right, now to find a quadratic equation, you've got to understand that we need two things about roots. The sum of the two roots, as well as the product of the two roots. So we're going to start working on that to find the sum and product. And it doesn't matter how complicated the roots look like, eventually it will work out. So let's go ahead and find the sum by adding the two roots together. So common denominator, alpha, beta. So on top here, the first fraction, I need to multiply with another alpha. So this will give me an alpha cube. And on this uh, other side here, let me just write this properly. 
this will give me multiply by beta, so beta q. And guess what? We have just found the value of alpha cube and uh, alpha cube plus beta cube earlier on, which was minus nine. And the product of the roots. All right, so what was the equation? It was x squared. Okay, let me use a different color. Okay, it was x squared minus 3x plus 4. equals to zero. We found the sum which was alpha plus beta, which was three. Now to find our product, it is alpha times beta, which is C over A. C is the coefficient of your, it's actually your constant, in this case it's four. And A is the coefficient of X squared, which is one, so it's simply four. So with that, I can substitute the value back here. Okay, so it's 9 over 4. And we are done with, this is basically sum of the roots. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and find the product of the two roots by multiplying them together. All right, so that will simplify to give us, oh, nice, which is, well, we have just found four. All right, so now you need to form your equation and it is simply x squared minus sum of roots. And remember, this represents the coefficient of your x plus product of roots and that is equals to zero, All right? Okay, run out of space. Let me see what I can do. All right, so um, let me just write it somewhere here. Let me just clear off this green color portion here. Okay, and then I'm going to continue my working there. All right, so x squared minus sum, which is negative 9 over 4, x plus product, which is 4, equals to 0. You want to simplify it, make it nice by multiplying everything by 4. So you give us negative, oh, sorry, 4x squared plus 9x plus 16. And this is the quadratic equation that we are looking for. I hope you find this uh, video useful. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.